Hey, you down here. <coughs> okay. I will do a little video of the TRX-80. And I'm not sure just how much of my face and head there is even actually in the picture, but that wasn't what I wanted to video anyway. I thought I'd let you look at my shoulder or the back of my head or something like that. But I'm using a Bluetooth headset mic. I can't turn around very good. The battery is dead in it and it won't charge. But somebody gave it to me. But it does work. And I have an external battery that I've got in my pocket, so I'm not going to get it out and show it. <coughs> that I'm using to run it. And I just run the, so I got a USB cable and down from it. So I'm kind of precarious. But I might try using it in situations like this a couple times. If it works well, then maybe I'll end up. I found a battery that should work in it for about, I think it's more like around seven dollars. But you have to um, <coughs> take it apart, desolder some stuff. And I saw how some people have been, you know, been doing it. Uh, this particular model, it's a Plantronics. So it, uh, the battery's not, you know, made to be replaceable. You've got to hack it a little bit. Oh, I'm trying to get a drink of coffee and I nearly spilled it on my keyboard. So my TR said it's the only place I can set it where I can get to it. And just set this little keyboard on my keyboard tray. <coughs> and then I can turn the chair. It's not very good, but I tried other ways, like putting it behind my monitor. There's just not enough room behind there. And then I have to always be moving my monitor to get to it. And of course, it's a portable and it has a cover for it. I've already took that off in the previous video. Here's a couple of, here's a little book, kind of a quick start manual. Radio Shack mo uh, mo Modem 4P Operation Manual. It calls it Modem 4P. I thought it's always said Model 4P. Maybe they call it Modem because it, I don't think this one has a modem in it, but. Um, but so anyway, it's got a quick start guide in there and stuff that I used before. I think I can remember how to the start up this thing because I did it a few days ago. <coughs> Just gotta make sure you get the disc in the right and everything. Model Model 4P boot disc. This is handwritten. It's a really cool guy. I forgot his name right this minute, but he gave he he mailed he he gave this to me, and uh, plus a whole box full of software. And instruction manuals and stuff uh, several years ago, and I haven't really been able to. I had it down on the floor, and I never, my health is not really good, and I, my, a lot of the times, and I didn't feel up to, uh, you know, getting it out. So I thought, well, if I get it on the desk and leave it there, then I can get it out. So <coughs> here's how you turn them on. <coughs> turn it on first. I don't remember which one of these discs. One is. LS dose. They're not labeled like that, but one slightly different version of dose. <coughs> so it says close the floppy drive door and try again. It always does it, but that's how you're supposed to turn it on. Um, try again. Uh, oh, and it says it in disk at lock lock. That's like German or something. From Microsoft port. That's uh, French. So I guess it's actually made to work in three languages. And I don't think there's a core. I think you can't put them in there wrong, but I believe it goes just like that. Yeah, I remember the label face of the monitor. I remember that much. And there's two. It's got two five and a half inch floppy drives. Yeah, I don't think it would go in there wrong. Let's try. It. Yeah, it will. Okay, it'll go in there wrong, but uh, I don't think you can shut it. Shut that if you have it in there wrong. Let's try that. You have to lock that little deal there. Yeah, you could, looks like. I don't want to do it. I don't want to damage it. But I'm pretty sure it goes like this. So, and then there's a reset button on here. And you hit that. And it kind of, it's got a spring on it. And it'll, you know, put itself back. So, uh, it moves on me. Now oh, my ear, my sideburns are itching my ear, tickling my ear. Okay. Now it's rebooting. Okay, the date. Now you can either put in the date and time, which I've already forgot what it was today, or you can just hit enter. Let's put in the date. Let's see, date, month, day, year. Let's see, 01. I think you have to put the forward slash in there. Uh, I think it's the 12th. I'm not even sure. 01. 
And I guess you can put, I think it'll uh, black 2k crash on me if I put 17 in there. Oh man, it says it shows a two decimal place, not a three, so I'm gonna go with that. Just wants it again. Okay. 01, whoops. Uh oh, how do you uh, clear? Oh, break. Uh, break, I think, will be the same thing as delete. Okay. 01. Uh, let's say it's. 14, I think it might be further up. Um, 2017, whoops. Yeah, there's not enough, whoops. You know, break of, of the erase. 01, I think I've tried this before and there's a trick to it. 14, it really may not work with 17. 17, I think you hit enter. Nope, okay, so I'm just gonna hit enter. I'm gonna have to look in the book. I've already forgot that the uh, <coughs> just asking me to. I'm just gonna reset it, and this time I won't try to enter one. I think I did this before, and I got hung up on trying to get the date in there. It was harder to. I'm, I'm gonna have to find my pages. I think this is a book I was reading after I left it out on top. I didn't want to dog ear. I mean, this is like a vintage manual. It's in perfect condition. I didn't want to dog ear any of the pages, so I didn't uh, do that to it. It hadn't been done, so I didn't do it. But it's got, um, you know, tells you how to put a modem in it. It's a huge modem. I've seen. I've had this apart because when I first got it, and during the shipping, they he shipped it to me. I mean, all this just gave it to me and shipped it to me didn't, for free, and. Uh, he just, uh, he still uses one, and uh, he had several of them, and he just said, he'd like to have somebody to talk to about them, you know, and we didn't, we talked to him quite a bit at first, you know, we'd email and stuff like that, but then we kind of didn't talk much anymore. I guess if I got into it more, I started learning and talking to him about it, and I have. But, uh, and I did make a really, like, it ended up being like, a, I edited it and everything, it was like three hours long video of the first boot and everything. But then I couldn't upload it to YouTube because it was too big of a file. I, mean, I think it was at that time it was too long. Now you could have that long a video, but I haven't got it uploaded. I kept thinking I should at least cut it into three, two, you know, three separate hours. But I like to make videos, but I don't ever seem to get around to editing them then very often. So I should just see if I can upload it now. They change, they change things every once in a while and allow you to. And my anyway. I won't go into it, but I, uh, that much on that, but I'm trying to look at this. I thought I remembered. I guess I should have looked through the book before I got into making a video. But, uh, not, I can't remember where I was in there. I think I hadn't even got to the boots, boot instructions yet. I want to try this. I want to try the index. This is not a computer. You can't just go to Google. You got to learn how to use the book. <coughs> I used to use manuals a lot working on cars. I didn't get into computers until I got older. I worked on cars and electrical stuff and building, the building, making, cabinet making, building maintenance was my job for quite a few years. Setting up the modems, number two. Programming the modem. Troubleshooting and the specifications. This must be the modem manual. But it did have. Maybe I grabbed the wrong book. This is all about how to. And it'll dial up. It's a, if I had the modem, maybe it has one. But you know what? I think it, that's what that. There is a big old serial port on the back of there. That might be what that is. This thing. I wonder if you could dial in. If you, you'd have to write your own program. <laughs> I've got a. I still have a. A dial-up account that I can. Yeah, there it is. But that's what that big serial connector is on the back of. It's a modem. I thought it was for data. Might be better. But I think I may have the wrong book out. You know what? This one just happens to be laying. On top of my floppy disks. My um, manual. Put this 
this up here so that I can so that I can get up there into my box. Manual that I'll use to quick start manual. There's there's the cover off. And then the box up here. I showed it before in the other video. Maybe I'll show it. Quick reference guide. That's what we'll do. Maybe that's the one I want. If their instructions on how to do it are in there, then I didn't. I don't know where it went. Um, quick reference card for do L dose. There's the book. I don't know the book. The entire manual for it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I remember using this quick reference guide. It's got lots of commands in it. It's got, this is where you're going to get your commands at. As a matter of fact, there it is, startup right there, first page. LS, L dose, not LS dose, L dose manual. And scriptist instruction summary card. Okay, so the L dose is one of the operating systems that uh, it's like an, uh, yeah, and uh, you didn't know you didn't know there was a dose, dose before Microsoft, did you? But there was. I even knew that. But uh, anyway, this is the book I had used, and I think some of its. That's what kind of gave me a clue. Some of its pages, the last time, yeah, some of its pages are, uh, there's some commands, and there's a, I don't think I put, I might have put that there, uh, paper clip. Let's see, reset. I remember this quick reference guide from the last time I ran it. It was, I like, I like it. It's smaller print, though. Okay, uh, everything I did, then insert the, oh, this one's for TRS dose. Yeah, that's why I got that. There's L dose and TRS dose. And uh, I guess the TRS dose is probably the TRS-80. That's the one that's for, you know, made for it. I think that L dose has got a few more features than did more time, if I remember right. I did read through some of these books a little bit. Okay, free, and then prompt you... TRS dose displays a startup message and prompts you to enter the date, month, day, year. Yeah, just like I'm at, where I'm at. Following system prompt appears on your screen. TRS, TRS dose ready. Now you can type a command. That's all it says. I think this book tells you that <coughs> how to get around it, maybe. Okay, we said on the model, model 4.2. Never use shift or caps during startup. Type all keys in lowercase. In addition, never use control during startup. If you do, the hardware misinterprets the command. Uh, the keys are F1. Okay. Or 1 tells the hardware to try and load the operating system from the hard disk only. Wow. I don't think I have a hard disk. Sure, I don't have it. I just have a floppy disk. Okay, um, F2 or 2 tells the hardware to load. Yeah, because there isn't an F anything on here. It's just uh, so F2 and 2 does the same thing. Load the operating system from the floppy disk only. F3 or, or 3 tells the hardware that you want to model 4 to emulate model 3 hardware. Tries to, oh, I have to load contents of the uh, model 3 file. If it needs to be loaded. Let's see. Well, 
last time I blew this thing up the other day, I was, uh, oh, there's another marker. That's probably the root instruction. I don't know if I put this stuff in here or not. There's a paper clips. Maybe I did, because I didn't thought that'd be better than dog hair in it, but that's pretty hard on the pages, too. TS, TRS ghost command. I think I'm going too far into the book. Yeah. I think maybe I marked that because it, I, I, I spent, like I said, well, I've got on it more than once. So I spent but, you know, keep some time getting familiar with it. And uh, I guess I'm holding that down way out of the picture. That wasn't what I was trying to do, show the book. But, uh, I don't want to try to load by just hitting enter. Did I even try that yet? After we, I might have to. Uh, so now here's how to get it out. RS-232C, IO bus parallel printer. Yeah, I thought it was a parallel printer deal. Uh, that connected that thing. The serial connector. <coughs> okay. Tells you how to put in hardware and do all that. Not the best tech disk. These papers don't want to come apart. There's uh, how to, yeah, there's where to put, how to put the disk in. Let's see. You don't ever take the disk out when it's running. And you just turn it off when it's at the main screen like that. So yeah, I had it right. The little, the little hole goes on the bottom. Shows it kind of, in that picture it shows it off to the right over there, but that was in the right place. But you don't turn it on with the disc in it. Okay. <coughs> oh, here's the booting. Start up mode. Turn on uh, equipment first. Or the additional equipment, if you have like modems and external stuff. Drives, stuff like that. I don't have anything but just this. And then uh, you can use your power strip if you have a power strip. Okay, now it says the same method. Put in our disk. Could put in the other disk. Just, yeah, because that might be the one. Maybe that one hangs up and doesn't want to do that. Put in this other one. That might be my problem. Okay. Um, now then, in a few seconds, one message listed appendix. Disk drive not ready. Um, yeah, it's not ready. Okay, now we'll reset it. Okay, if you start, now this one's doing a little different. Now this is the LS DOS and it says ready. I think it's just ready. I don't think it's going to ask me for the date. Start up T, uh, TRS DOS. Press the reset switch and then the reset. Uh, never press caps control uh, while while it's uh, booting up. When you press, whenever you press reset, the system returns to uh, the startup message. Note if the screen shows no system, not a system disk, or cannot boot. Data disk message, the disk at or drive does not contain any operating system. Remove the disk at and then start the system disk at. And press reset. <coughs> you know, at the bottom of the startup, it, it asks for the date. Enter the days, today's date in the format specified, for example, June 06, 1484. This was made in 83, I think, so maybe it's made in 83. Uh, displays the date in expanded format form, and then displays TRS DOS font ready. Uh, and of course, it's already there. This Well, this one's not TRS DOS, this is LS DOS. So. And, uh, and then it's, you know, kind of more of the basic... Uh, Operation mode, and I loaded the other. I think I guess I did the orange one for the first time. 
Yeah, I didn't run into this last time. Now I, I thought I remembered running into some problems with the. Uh, but uh, I do know, you know, like I can't remember what's in the way of commands. But uh, dear, I wish the directories and uh, say you've got uh, backup to MD, du md and it's showing like I guess this is a, a directory and then a file in a directory this because uh, it's backup forward slash cmd well, I, don't, I, I don't know that may be you know like in regular like windows dos and dos you know dos dos it's like backup dot cmd you know what I think that slash is like uh, it really is uh, it's not meaning another directory I think it means that's the file because um, I think if you type any of those, it'll run these. I'm not sure. I, mean, I better look. And I think there's more files in there. There's help. Let's see. Let me look in here and uh, some of those commands before I just start typing stuff. What happened to my. Oh, it's not the same book. Where's the book with the. Oh, I guess I was looking in that other little book. It's, yeah, it's the one that had the... I guess I could look in this big one at first. It's got big uh, print. Cat command. Yeah, this one had some commands. Let's see. I mean, everything you do, you have to do in the command line. And I've not ever have been very good at it. Um, as a matter of fact, I try to avoid it. I love Linux. And been run, I've been running out as my main operating system uh, since 2005. But I try to get around doing commands because I'm not good at it. I make mistakes. I can't remember the commands. Yeah, there's the one that tells, tells you how to. I think that's the one I was reading through or whatever. It tells you how to load it from different floppies and stuff. But, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 F1. Yeah, so, you know, you could tell it to, you can load, I've, it's it's actually pretty easy to just load the other disk. Because, like, if you wanted to run a, another program, there's a bunch of programs you can run. Uh, you can put one in this in this drive and then run it oh, inside of this uh, LS drive. But, um, yeah, I'll have to get, I'll have to mess around with it and start learning some stuff, reminding, learning some stuff for this. It's different than regular DOS anyway. I mean, I can't just run check disk and scan disk and stuff like that. Um, and I don't want to just run something by accident, you know, and accidentally write a bunch of junk to that floppy disk or something or mess it up, you know. Um, but, um. Uh, Probably go into help. Let's see. I was trying to see the basic just how to type a command because I think it really is a little different. Well, that's all I have to know. Let's see. I guess this blue book is full of commands. I remember I used it to do some, really start getting stuff done. Let's see, start up. Yeah, backup, boot, cat, okay, backup, auto, copy, create, com, dear, which I already knew, um, list of directories, don't filter format, don't do format. Let's see, yeah, lib, link, I was looking for help to see how you're supposed to type it. Maybe you do just type. I'm just not sure if I have to change into the directory first, like you, or if that's showing the directory. That's what I'm wondering about. So, I'm trying to jump too far ahead whenever I, I need to remember, I need to find the 
the syntax, you know, the basic syntax. Whoops. Yeah, okay, I started typing because it wasn't to the end of the directories yet. Now it's ready. I don't think it was help. I think it was, sometimes it's HLP instead of help. I think that might work wherever you're at. Yeah, it did. So it brought up the help uh, program. Help system 6.2.0, copyright 1982, 83, 84 by Logical System Inc. All rights reserved, license 1982, 84 to Tandy Corporation. Okay, so this is the Tandy uh, LS Twitter. Hep category, uh, model card, keyword. Oh, the weeds parameter. Oh, parameter. It's got square brackets and then parentheses. Okay. Gosh, I can't see. Helps a little bit to get closer, though. And I am still at a strange angle to it. Possible syntax combinations. Help category. Displays list of keywords available in category. Help category keyword. Displays information in category about keyword. Help uh, ball card. Uh, asterisk. Keyword displays information in each available category about keyword. Parameters are sends output to printer. That's T. B cancels video restoration. R cancels re reverse video. S lets your uh, lets you enter a partial keyword name. Help displays a list of all keywords that begin with partial name. Help category is presently online. Help category is presently online on adult. Enter category or press enter to exit. Um, run. That's what it is. Like run a program or whatever. Okay. What is it doing? It really just gave me. It just went back to the same screen. I can't think of anything to search for help on except for um, for something this old, you know. I can't even think. I say list. I don't know if that's a command or not. I don't see if that's a command. I don't think list is a command in here. I think it's just uh, well, that light over there was lighting up. Let's see. So. Enter to get out. Now I remember last time I went ahead and put this one in and I typed command to go put it in. And if I can find that command again, I can uh, load the other, what was it, two, three, something like that. Load the other one. Okay, let's see. Tells the hardware that you want to model P to emulate. Oh, okay. Tells the hardware to try and load operating system from hard disk only. Tells the hardware to load operating system from a floppy disk only. Oh, okay. That's not. That's just got switches and you're booting up. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Thinking of when I read it before. It's really easy. I remember uh, reading it in that startup. I, was, I guess it was the first couple pages of this book. But I, love, I did that last time just to see what was on there. Um, that was just going to make a really quick video of just showing it. But once you start messing with something like this, you, just, you don't want to quit right away. I guess I should put a, I kind of hate to do it, but I, I can't ever find that page again. I, I guess I should put me a, you know, see if it's beginning to, it's trying to begin to tear that one, so I don't know. I think volume in the pages is better than tearing the pages. <coughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Tell 
be somewhere. Turning it off. You want to. Uh, before you go to the next chapter, to learn, learn how to turn it off. Uh, to avoid losing information, make sure TRS Dose Ready is uh, the last message displayed. Carefully remove the drives, turn it off. Uh, now you can turn off uh, <coughs> prompt additional equipment if you have any. <coughs> and then you can turn it off. Okay, and uh, cat command. Displays the names of all visible non system files that are stored on the diskette. Oh, okay. Well, let's take this one out first until we're really able to use it. And then, because um, I haven't got to that part telling me how to do it. <coughs> okay, let's see all the names of the pro bunch of programs that are in there. That's all I see is programs. One pass. Yeah. Okay. Study these files for a moment. In particular, note backup and format files. You will use them later in the chapter. It's telling you step by step how it works with them. It's important to detect the information that you store on the disk in, uh, in an instant. You could lose weeks of work. <laughs> yeah. Of a result of worn out or mishandled diskettes, uh, mishandled equipment, the power going out, and so on. To avoid losing important information, you should copy the diskettes of your master TRS disk system and use the copies from now on. That's what I'm doing. That's uh, that's I don't know. That may be all there is in the box. I don't know. But uh, these are both copies. It tells you how to format a disk and all that. I said you don't want to do that. Of course, you have to do it, but I mean, you don't want to do it <laughs> to the. You want to know what you're doing and not do it to the wrong one. You put the second one in there and format it. You don't want to format the one you're working from. I don't know where I saw that before, and I don't want to sit here for hours trying to, you know, not even not knowing at all what I'm doing here. But uh, somewhere I found my way to. Yeah, there's loading basic. That tells you count. I guess that's already loading. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, when I cough with this headset on, I can't really get away from it. But the mic or the phone, I can turn my head a little bit at least. But. Uh, It may be over there where my trigger clips are. How to load the other disc. I know it's just a command, you know. You put it in there and load the command. But I don't remember it anymore. Or you hit a key, you might just be hitting a certain key. Like, uh, let's see. Yeah, I've gotten up to my first paper clip there. It's really a pretty good, quick, and concise, concise uh, instruction manual. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Using a two disk startup. There we go. If you choose. Turn on the uh, model 4P. Insert model, uh, model 3 boot disk into the drive. Uh, press reset and then press a lowercase key. Pressing, key. pressing key tells the hardware that the diskette in the drive O contains model A2 file 
but if you want to use a program that is on the disk, you can see the displays a message loading ROM, and it says wait, no, this message is not displayed within 10 seconds again. Press reset and key. Oh, it's open. Some program loading the diskettes. Mm -hmm. Click the swap diskette prompt. Remove. Of course, you only have one drive, and you have to remove it. Put another one in there. But I have two drives. Once you've done it, you don't have to do it again. It loads it in the memory <coughs> uh, unless you turn it off, turn the machine off. Pretty cool. It's still not uh, what I remember. Uh, it doesn't ring a bell, though, as far as just getting it to read the other disk. So I actually, uh, oh, I saw a, a comma down there. I was like, where did that come from? It won't go away. I don't, you know, I don't, really, don't want to do that. I don't really know what that's going to do. There's a way to just tell it read the other disk. And now I can't read this. Okay, well I'll have to study and get it back. But uh, it's real simple. My memory is just simple. Can't believe I can't remember it. I always think I'm going to remember things, but then when it comes to it, I don't remember. Okay, so LS still free. So that means I can just take these out and shut it down. That's where it is still. It's back at LS still free. So, there you go. Um, pretty cool. Definitely take some real time learning. <coughs> but, uh, okay, this is gone. Bye bye. I don't know, I gotta get up. I'm saying bye bye. I can't turn off my video until I go over there and walk around there and turn it off. I have a. A remote, a Bluetooth remote that will that can turn start and stop videos and do stuff like that. But uh, it's kind of hard to use it. You can't see the screen in there. Well, I've got it set up one time to where I can, uh, you know, start a video with it. Get to get it all aimed up and to get it in a position to where I could start it up. Okay, so there we go. Ah, boy, I hope I gotta see something before I go here. I don't know if I did a good job. I was scooted up there where I could type. Okay. I thought, man, if the whole time all you could see is the back of my chair <laughs> and my head. I mean, I'm sure my head was kind of in the way. But uh, I probably should have went around to the left a little more so that my head wasn't in the way at all. I'll find out when the video's over. This is why I meant to make a short video. Let's see how it turned out. All right. This is going by.